And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you an easy lens distortion transition. You can achieve this effect in many ways. For example, you could right click in projects menu and create an adjustment layer on a new item. But I've got a little bit of a glitch in my Premiere Pro version so I'm going to select this one, right click and then nest it. And I'm going to achieve the same effect by doing that. But as I've said, you could also use an adjustment layer and you could even use just the two video clips separately. So the nested version contains both clips and I find the position for the jump cut, it's right here. I'm going to use a directional blur, drag and drop it on the nested element and I also need the lens distortion. Both can now be found here in the effect controls. If you don't see these menus, just go to window, click on effects and effect controls. As I said, I'm at the right position, so where the jump cut is. And I'll start an animation for blur length under direction of blur and for curvature under lens distortion. Now I'll use the arrow keys to left and right, let's say 12 frames each. And I'll create new keyframes by clicking on these circles. So now I'll go 12 steps to the right with the right arrow key. Once again, new keyframes. Let's go back to the center position for blur length and curvature and adjust the curvature. Let me go down to minus 100, which is the maximum. And if I roll the clip, this is what we've got now. If that's too intense for you, you may want to go down. Let me show you what minus 50 looks like. I don't think that's intense enough. So I keep the minus 100, but for your footage, it may be all right. Just pick something that you like here. Once again, I'm at the center position and now I want to add the blur. So for the blur length, I'll let me go up like to 30 or 40. And again, I play the clip. And it goes from zero up to around 40, while the lens is also distorted. Maybe that was a little bit too much. Let me try 25. And that's a better result. As I've said, I've used a nested element. You could also use an adjustment layer or the two separate video clips. But this is the general process of creating this lens distortion transition in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.